Good morning and welcome back to Stranded Deep. My name is Agork. This is episode six of Let's Play Hard. We're playing Stranded Deep on the hard difficulty level. It is morning. I'm back on my start island. I came in last night and basically uh, unloaded all of my crates onto the beach here. I caught some fish, got them cooking, collected some fibrous leaves, got the water still going. Um, yeah, basically just got myself organized for today. And today we're heading out to this tanker, which we've been to before, and we're going to get the buoy balls that are on here. Uh, it's a little bit early in the morning, so the water's kind of murky. I can't see too, too far in front of me. There's a shark somewhere out here, but we're just going to make a mad dash for it and hope he doesn't show up. And I'll just keep myself down low in the wreckage here, so if he does show up, he won't be a problem. <laughs> um, there should be four sets of buoy balls here, two on the front of the deck right where I'm heading now, and then two on the deck above me. And I want to gather these and add a couple of sections to our raft, and then add some container shelves. It's just going to grab all these buoy balls before they float away. Oh, geez, that one went over the edge. Uh, come on. Grab that one. Can I get over here? No. No, don't sail away. Come back. Oh, nuts. I'm not going to be able to get over here. Ah, stop swimming. I want you to jump over the edge. <laughs> All right, I can't do that. Um, I'm just going to go upstairs and get the, uh, the other ones. Yeah, it's floating away. All right, let's grab these two sets. And you can't really do much if you lose one. If you've got only four buoy balls, you can't use them for anything except for um, building fishing bobbers, which are pretty useless. So kind of important that I get that buoy ball. I may have to take my... Uh, where am I going here? Go back down the stairs. I, <laughs> I may need to sail out and get that thing. I think I'm going to have to. Um... Otherwise, I've got four buoy balls that I can't use for anything. Level up physical. Oh, there's a crate there we left from last time. Make another mad dash. So I'm going to sail out and get that buoy ball. Um, I'm also going to need to take the building supplies I need to build the raft bases. So. I think I need uh, a hammer, which I have here. Oh, uh, I need to free up some inventory space. Let's drop the crate, grab the hammer, and drop the spears, because I'm going to need lashings as well for the bases. And I think I have some in the crates over here somewhere. There we go. need four of those. And let's grab this and sail out and get that thing. This shouldn't take too long. Survive seven days. Nice. All right, we've gotten out to our buoy ball. <laughs> Wayward buoy ball. And it's raining, of course. I don't know if this is going to be a storm or if it's just a bit of a rain squall. We'll see. It's going to head back to shore. And we'll pull up onto the beach here. Looks like it's just a little bit of a rainstorm, nothing too, too bad. And I'm going to pull this up onto the rocks because the water is really dark and I don't want to step on a poisonous starfish. So I'm just going to pull this completely out of the water and... Um, try and add to the raft while it's up on the rocks here. Just going to make sure that the back end here is pointing up in the air as far away from the water as possible. It's actually easier to pull this instead of push, so I don't know why I'm trying to push it. So there we go. All right, let's grab our hammer. Going to add one on this side here. Level up craftsmanship. Nice. Now, the next one is a tricky one because you could put it here in the center where the rudder is and you could actually still do that and use the rudder. But 
I don't really like putting one there. I like to have that section left open. Um, so I think I'll put it on the outside instead of where the rudder is. So that's one on each side, and then we're just going to put one more off the back of each of those. And the reason I do this is because I want to put container shelves on here. I'm just going to pull this forward a little more. And when I put container shelves on the back, that way they don't block my view when I'm sailing. If you build your raft forward of your, where your rudder is, and you put container shelves on there, then you can't see anything. They block your view too much. So I'm going to put them in the back. Got an extra knife here. 57% and 51%. So they're pretty much the same durability left on these. So I'm just going to grab them both. And I need some extra sticks for the raft floors. I'm just going to build the same wooden raft floors that I already have. I'm going to save the uh, planks and the corrugated scrap for other structures, I guess, and for farming plots. I'm going to add wood floor to each of these. And, oh, I don't have enough sticks. Don't drop that. Pick it up. Come on. Go back, get more sticks. She doesn't always do what I tell her to do, I tell you. I don't know. All right, so we need those. We need some planks as well because we're going to build the container shelves. We need 12 pieces to build four container shelves because they require three planks each. Put that there. And you can face these either direction. I like mine to be facing inwards. It's just a personal preference. Doesn't make any difference whatsoever. You can still access them from both sides. And then we need two on this side. Oh, back up. There we go. Yep. And one there. And there we go. Four new container shelves. Let's grab some crates. Drop that. Actually, that thing should stack with the other two I had in there. Seagulls seem to like these rocks. Grab our spears back. Need a bit of food and water. Again, as usual. Constantly have to be eating and drinking. Crazy. Drop that. No, don't take them. Put them in. Oh, come on. These things are a little bit tricky to deal with sometimes. <laughs> All right, good enough. All right, there we go. Four new container shelves. We still have a few things on the beach here from our original visit that we'll need to organize and pack into the crates if we have space for them. And now I'm going to head back out to the ship. And we haven't been down into the bowels of the ship yet. So I'm going to try and get down into the cargo hold and see what we can find down there. Oh, there's a shark. It's a hammerhead. 
One hit for you. Two hits for you. I believe it takes four hits of refined spears to kill a hammerhead, and I've got three at least. Do I have three or do I have four? I can't remember now. I think I have four, actually. Where did he go? All right, well, let's head in here. Might as well get these tires. Want to add one more section to the raft in between the back two pieces of raft that we added. And then I can add one more container shelf to those as well. And that will give us uh, additional storage in case we do actually find some more crates on the cargo ship, which we probably will. I don't know where he's gone. Maybe he's buggered off on us. He's got my two spears, so I hope he hasn't buggered off. Come on, I need to kill you, buddy. Come on back. I thought they were supposed to be more aggressive. Come on, I don't have all day. Uh, all right, let's just go for it. Oh, I thought that was the shark. It's a grouper. No worries, no worries. Uh, I don't think he's going to come back. It's always when you say that, though, that they show up again. So <laughs> just give it a second here. Come on. I don't have all day. Nope, screw him. I'm not doing it. Okay, so I needed a lashing in order to use those tires. So let's drop that crate and let's go back and let's finish adding to this raft here. Tire raft base. When I swim around, I usually try to keep an eye on my stamina, and if it's getting really low, then I stop swimming fast, just so that it doesn't go into the red zone, because there's a pretty long cooldown period. So, it's kind of always good to do that in short bursts. Just gonna add the raft there. And we want to add the raft floor there. Voila. We need to get some more planks, which are all in the crates on the raft, of course. Duh. Not sure what I was thinking there. And we want to put it right here in the center. And I'm just going to point it the other way. Voila. And currently we only have one crate to put there. Plus we have all of our own inventory space that we can carry crates. So it doesn't matter if we get more than two crates on the shipwreck. That will be fine. We can just carry them in our personal inventory until we can get to our new island and drop a bunch of things off. And now I can't see anything, so... Okay, uh, maybe we'll wait till morning to do this. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, 4.43, I need food, I need water. Let's keep this thing filled up. So I need to get some fish. I always seem to be fishing when I can't see anything in the water. It's kind of stupid. I need to be uh, planning a little bit better to be fishing when I can actually see what I'm doing. It would really be helpful. At least with the shallow water like this, there's always sardines. They're not the sexy food, but they're easy to catch. They're always very close to shore. And you can usually do it fairly safely as long as you roughly know where the poisonous starfish are. Because when the water gets this dark, you really don't want to be out in the water. Just get one more for luck. Oh, he got away. Nope, got him. Okay, I'm going to get these skinned, put them on the fire. Ugh. Early in the game like this, until I've killed off the sharks that are on an island, I probably will live on just sardines and crabs and uh, water, whatever water I can get from the water stills or coconuts. Uh, and I generally don't go out into the deeper water to get cod or giant groupers until the sharks are dead. Once the sharks are dead, you can go out into the deeper water and uh, get some cod. And of course, you can always use the sharks as food as well. They provide quite good sustenance, so that's always a bonus. Okay, just getting this lit up. I'll let those cook and smoke. I think what I'll end up doing is organizing a bunch of things, sleeping through the night, and we'll continue this in the morning. And it's morning, we're back. Got my couple of spears. We've survived eight days. And now we're heading out. Keeping an eye out for the shark. And we're heading to the bowels of the ship. There's a door here that we can open and head down. And one thing to note too with this game is that once you save, a game and exit it and then come back in, the underwater rocks change position. They're not always going to be in the same place. So if you come down a stairway like this and it's all blocked up with rocks, exit the game and save or just come back another day and try it again and the rocks will probably be in a different position. So it might actually open up an area of the ship that you couldn't get at before. Or likewise, it could do the opposite and actually block off an area that you used to be able to get to. So keep that in mind. Oh, good, an air tank. Perfect. And we'll take the scrap and the leather. Don't need the gyrocopter part. Don't need the fishing spears. And let's grab our knife and break this door down. <laughs> Seems weird that you can break a door with a knife. I can understand it with the ax, but a knife, come on. Got one up here. Oh, nice, a lantern. Take some oxygen. Should be one on the ground here behind me. Yep, another lantern, nice. Um, my inventory is full. I'm gonna go, uh, let's go upstairs where we're out of the water and let's go out into the sunlight so I can see what I'm doing. Don't need the compass, so drop that. Definitely don't need the flare gun, so let's get rid of that. And let's just put scrap in there and we'll put the uh, leather in that one. Oh, there's the shark. Let's see if we can kill him and get our spears back. That would be nice. Okay, 
We should have two of our spears sticking out of his body somewhere, so I'd like to get those back. If he's going to show up again. Oh, here he comes. What? He doesn't have any spears sticking out of him. Is this another hammerhead? I don't think so. Oh, you know what? I think, like with the rocks, if you exit the game and save and then come back, I think maybe the sharks reset. So if he had spears sticking out of him, after the reset, there's no more spears. I think that's maybe what's happened here. Because I did do that. When I slept in game last night, I did actually save the game and exit and I had to come back in a little while later to finish recording. So that's maybe what's happened. Because I don't think there would be two hammerheads in the same wreck. It's got to be the same shark. It's either that or he learned how to remove spears from his body, which, I, you know, I kind of doubt that. Whoa! Oh, hello. There he is. He's got one crude spear sticking out of him, so I've only got two refined spears on me. I can't kill him uh, with what I have, so I'm just going to get out of here. Oh, that sucks that he's respawned or whatever without my spears in him. Oh well, what can you do? Let's uh, put the air tank in here and let's put these two crates here. Don't pick it up, put it in. How many times do I have to tell you that? Uh. All right, so as you can see, I pretty much cleaned up the beach overnight, put everything into the crates, or at least everything that I could fit. Turn that off, we've got some smoked meat. Got some water going. Let's keep this thing filled up for when I come back to the island so there will be water when we get here. And we're down to a little over two. Yep, so we got one piece extra, great. You can see the uh, starfish on the right there that I had stuck with a spear just to mark where he was. That's a little trick you can use whenever you see a starfish. Just take a crude spear and just throw a spear at it so it's sticking out of the ground, then it makes it easier for you to find them from a distance. So you're less likely to run into it. All right, so we are ready to go. Let's set sail and head to our new island. And you can see that my crates are behind me so I can see perfectly out the front here. My view is not hindered at all. And when I look behind me, there's five container shelves, each carrying three crates, plus the one in front. So I have six times three, 18 crates I can carry on this raft. And here we are coming into our new island. You can see the cave straight ahead. We'll get a closer look at that in a minute. Oh, I can hear a shark. And I think I mentioned in my last video that this island does have five sharks on it. So <laughs> that should be interesting. All right, so here we are on our new island. I'm just going to wander around a little bit, show you what it looks like. This is the cave area. It's not a huge cave and it's quite open, but uh, there's a bit of a nook back here we could use for storage maybe. Uh, a little bit of a section there. There's a doorway into a open amphitheater type place. I was thinking of building a floor above this and then putting a helicopter pad up there. We could use the ground floor as storage. This will be a bay that we could put a, a wharf on here or a dock. There's a shipwreck out there. There's lots of little rocky points in areas and lots of palm trees, aloe vera plants, some driftwood. There's a shark. There's a boar there. I could maybe get him. Oh, no, he's moving away. I don't want to go venturing into the grassy areas when there's snakes. And I believe there's two, maybe three. There's another shark, or the same shark. Uh, two to maybe three snakes on this island. I can't remember if there's two or three. But yeah, five sharks and two to three snakes. I'm sure we're going to get bit by something. 
I don't know what. Oh, there's another shark out there. I like the looks of this island. It's just very, very tropical and nice rocky areas, nice palm trees, more driftwood. There's a little path here. Got another aloe vera plant. I don't remember this big rock being here. All right, whatever. Cloth. Another shipwreck out there. More rocks. Another driftwood pile. And yeah, and this flat peninsula here will be pretty good for building farming plots. And I'm going to have to drop everything off here. I'll probably build myself a uh, water still and a shelter so we can save and sleep the night. And then we'll continue from there tomorrow. So that's pretty much all I have for this episode. I'll get set up on this island and we'll continue from there. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Agurk. We'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.